The operators of a website that helps married people have extra marital affairs says that they have been hacked. So John P. is in to talk about this with us tonight. He's a security expert. Let me tell you a little bit about the backstory here. The website, Ashley Madison, the, the people who hacked it, they have said that they're going to put all this information from Ashley Madison out there unless the website actually shuts down. So the hackers are calling themselves the impact team. Yeah. So so they're, they're making this impact. And, of course, Ashley Madison, if you're not familiar with it, it's got... It pictures a whole lot of you know people who are married trying to to meet somebody else so john p welcome on this subject Thank you. tonight okay you say that you are not surprised i'm not surprised by the first of all this is this site is notable because of its content but we've seen much bigger sites be hacked i mean heck even u.s government sites have sure. been hacked so you know th this kind of thing is happening everywhere and there's just holes all over the internet what's crazy is that people actually provide strangers with this type of personal information and don't think about it. Okay, so it's not only personal information. I know we're going to talk more about security, but this is like personal, personal information. Yeah, yeah. Married people trying to have affairs or putting your um, sexual interests in different things yeah. out there online. And so the hackers are like, shut it down or... This, is, this list is going out there, and they say they've got, what, what like 37 million people 37. or something. 37.5 million people. Yeah, that's a whole people. lot of secrets to possibly it, it come is, out. It is, yeah. So how does a company respond to that? Well, how... <laughs> I don't, I don't even, this is <laughs> uncharted answers, territory, right. you know. Um, the, the way that company, the way a normal company would respond to this is okay. they'd close the loophole, they'd, they'd, they'd find the security hole, and they'd fix it, which these guys say that they've done. Right. And then you continue your operations. This is what everyone else has done, and you find ways to try and make it better for the people whose stuff was hacked. Uh, like uh, paying for credit restoration services right, for right, them right. and things like that. But that's not what this seems to be. In this about. case, you know, how do you make this right? I don't know. You, uh, it seems to me that if, if you're going to try and protect 30 million plus people, mm -hmm. the only thing they can do is uh, do what the hackers want them to do, shut it down. Otherwise, what's the response? So I think part of, too, what the hackers, this impact team says that, that um, bothered them is that Ashley Madison has this full delete policy yeah. that for $19, which this company made millions off of, for $19, it's we amazing. will delete your full profile. And impact team is saying, you didn't do that. Well, in, in the way I understand it, they actually delete the profile, but the problem is that the credit records All remain okay. because of the transaction, right? right? If you had a $19 charge, they've got to keep those credit records so that they can prove in case somebody were to dispute the charge, they got to say, well, they, they did pay, here's the record, blah, blah, blah. Well, those records have the names and credit card information, et cetera, which is the worst thing you could keep. Right. The real question is, why was that information stored in an unencrypted format? Okay, so which companies then encrypt? Everyone because, I mean, should be encrypting. You, Everybody should be. If I log on to Amazon or mm -hmm. Disney or Bed Bath & Beyond, oh, hello, Heather, welcome back. I mean, they know who I am, there they've is, got my stuff. There is no way to know which of them are actually encrypting your data. They should all be doing it, but many don't. Now, when we hear about these other uh, types of hacks, for example, the, the Target hack that occurred, right, right. that information, they said, well, it was encrypted. However, there's still a chance that they're going to be able to break our encryption. But these guys don't say anything about that. Right. You know? so, and you would be surprised how many websites store not only your personal data unencrypted, but even your passwords are stored unencrypted. They all, they all ask us, do you want us to save the password? Oh, sure, it's easier for me. Well, that's I have saving it on your end, right? which is one thing, okay. and that should be encrypted oh, in your browser. End. I'm saying on their servers, okay. they store your name and your password, you mm. know, one, two, three, four, five, and it's just in free text. So if anyone does compromise that database, all they have to do is take that list of usernames and passwords right. and try it on every other website that right. they can get to. And they're going to And most it. people only kick, they use one password everywhere. I know. It's That's ABC, a huge problem. ABC, one, two, three. Yeah. That's what everybody does. Yeah, or password, even Well, worse, exactly, you know? right? Birthdays, all those sorts of things. So the message to the consumer, to the, all of us who are logging on and doing the ABC, one, two, threes, yeah. what's your message to us? Uh, well, number one, uh, uh, don't use the same password for every website. Okay. What you can do is you can get a password manager. It's a little application. There's one called 1Password, and uh, you can run it on your phone. So you've got a little app, and okay. it, you can generate a new password for every website, and that will remember them. 
you use one really strong password to unlock your app, and it remembers all the passwords everywhere else. So that's one thing you can do. All right. And another thing you do is don't use websites that help you cheat on your spouse. Well, that would be embarrassing if the yeah, information, mean, because we can yeah. figure out the financial stuff, the moral stuff's a whole, yeah, that's a a whole, whole different, different thing. Yeah. John, appreciate it as My always. Pleasure. John P., thanks for coming in.